we're outside the historic Alberta Hotel, which is the home of CKUA Radio. And now that the historic tavern on the main floor has been completed, all that remains is for them to find a vendor. It originally opened in 1904, and the bar area is basically renovated to be an identical match. That means ideally doing bar and restaurant service in a 1905 period style. That may or may not happen, though applicants are being considered for a possible June move-in. The Alberta Hotel restoration is complete. So each brick of this building was basically stored in a yard for, you know, 20, 30 years until Gene finally applied, got the contract, and rebuilt the entire building from the bottom up. We really respect Gene Dub's vision for keeping the period look because uh, the CKUA building, as you know, it's 1903, rebuilt. The uh, stonework is all original from that particular era. We have one uh, original light fixture on the wall. We have three original mirrors. And, uh, the rest of the light fixtures and mirrors were recreated to be basically identical. The ceiling was uh, done by a doll maker that uh, basically uh, Susan Stylinger, she, she kind of recreated this whole thing from original artifacts. Uh, the light fixtures, again, uh, Vancouver, uh, the guy that made the Titanic set, basically recreated these. Um, and the uh, Lucas family donated the uh, cash register, the original cash register from uh, 1904, still in working conditions. Of course, CKUA radio business operates continuously upstairs. Uh, release of this last month, Old Sock, once again, the name of the CD, Eric Clapton, and a tune called Your One and Only Man. We just came out of our spring fundraiser 2013. We exceeded our goal by uh, close to $30,000. Uh, and for us, it's that individual donations, uh, leadership donations, corporate donations, that's what keeps us fiercely in Independent. We set a goal of 500,000 for this time around, and we came in at 529 and change. So for us, that's major success. Keep CKUA in business. The street level tavern will add to the ambience of the historic section of Jasper Avenue. So for Gene to have the vision to come in here to create this restaurant and pub space in accordance with the original feel, it's he's doing a lot of justice to the history, not only of this building, but to Edmonton's history and Alberta's history. This is Tim Dancy.